I'll now show you a <clears throat> remote LAN sample. So first thing we need to do for this is to have our two APKs, the debug and the Android test APK. And now let's start with building the build gradle file. Um, here what we need is the um, in the repositories in the repositories block we add the Maven URL and then the dependency to our plugin and then we just apply our plugin. That's it for the build gradle. Now let's move on to the config file. In the config file, so we enter our cloud URL, our security token, which if you don't know in order to uh, create a security token, we go into the into our lab, press on more, select create security token, enter our password, create token, and that would create a token for us. So here we uh, pasted it in. Then we chose we choose a few devices. The first device is an HTC if I'm not mistaken and the second one is a Samsung I think um, then we we have to give it the path to the APK so since uh, the config file is in the same directory as the APKs we just give it the relative path in there um, and then the test APK path the same and now we run it using Gradle Perfecto and we give it the path to the config file. So now we can see our task has started to run. We have over here a um, confirmation that was able to pass our JSON file correctly and now it's running with this configuration. You can see over here that it's loading our APK files now to the cloud. Here you can see we're starting to get now get results for the tests. So here we see the Samsung, we're getting a few passed, one failed, and here's the HTC. Okay, so that's it, all our tests are finished. We have the summary now that our tests ran successfully on both devices. First device, which was an ATC one M9, had one failed and five passed, and the second device, which was a Samsung Galaxy S6, had the same result. Here we have a more in-depth report. Let's look at that. Okay, here we could see all our tests. We could go into a test, and we can see the reason why it failed, the stack trace. Over here we could go and see the screenshots that the test took. And here are the tags, this is the ID of the run. And that's pretty much it, thank you.